Hello guys, this is Ratu498. Um, this is a 2v2 commentary battle on Shogun 2 Total War between myself, who is Raging Large Sack, and Maximus is Roos, and we're fighting Big City Knight and Kamikaze. So, uh, I have a little bit of a f uh, cold flu -y thing at the moment, so I'm sorry if uh, my voice goes a bit funny or any weird noises come out of me. But I'm going to show you this quickly. Um, li I live record every game now, simply because the replay files aren't particularly... Um, solid anymore and sometimes they corrupt and I watched these back and they did corrupt so there's two games here for you against these guys and I'm gonna show you some now so I apologize if there's a tiny bit of lag in places uh, I'm very sorry about that so my build I have got one bow I should go I have got one Daiatsu uh, Samurai bow guy oh, one Yayash go three uh, Najinata warrior monks one monk hero guy the baseball guys, uh, two Naginata uh, attendants, two Monk Cav, and a Light Cav. So um, this is a build I brought, I know these guys are going to bring lots of Monks, uh, so I kind of felt as if I kind of had to with the stuff that's going on. The next game there's a lot less Monks on our side, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, Roos has brought, I believe he's got one Monk, uh, a few Samurai, uh, Katana Samurai, a uh, few uh, cav units, a couple of light, and I believe he's got a monk cav as well, and he's got a couple of bows, same as me. So uh, I've got my cav hidden, they're behind here. I've got a light cav and my two monk cav down in the forest behind. I'm going to allow my opponent to wrap behind, so my cav is now behind him. Uh, if you notice as well, I put them far enough down the forest that they weren't going to get seen or caught if my opponent tried to move that direction. So our bows are just skirmishing off at the moment. We've managed to route away one of uh, Big City's bows. Big City's green. Kamikaze is kind of the browny colour. Uh, Kamikaze's got his calf trying to come around behind. So I've got um, one of my spear units just going off there. My Yari have gone into a Yari wall. And they're going to try and hold up anyone coming out of that forest. Uh, against these monks, basically, there's a couple of things you can do. You can either get some decent units to hold them up and pelt them with arrows. Or you can hammer an anvil the hell out of them. Uh, in this game, we kind of do both. So we'll see how that turns out. Roos has charged Cav unit in. Seeing he's done that, I'm going to let one of my light Cav go. And I'm going to bring my two Monk Cav in behind the attacking units of Kamikaze. Which should allow me a little bit of uh, time to get there. And I should be able to do a nice hammer and anvil on him in the back. So I've got one of my monks engaged. My spear wall's holding up quite nicely. I'm now level 7 silver, so I've got to stand and fight again. Which is like a godsend, I tell you. It's been a nightmare without it. Everyone just routing away whenever they feel like it. So I've got that again now. So uh, my general is now in stand and fight. Uh, more of my uh, monk units are now moving in to uh, engage. And as you can see now, my cavalry coming in from the behind. And hopefully they're going to whack straight into the back without too much of a problem. I have to pull one away and I've sent the other one into the back. Uh, one of them I've had to pull away simply because uh, Big City's got a couple of monks coming out and they're going to uh, stop my charge so I had to pull them out of the way. So Roos is being pelted from the right hand side as you see. Big City's got a matchlock over there and a bow unit and he's being pelted from that side. As you see my cap went straight into the back so I kind of um, surrounded Kamikaze's men there. Uh, at the top of the screen, Big City's calves come right through the gap, and I didn't see them. As you can see, all, what I could see was what was in the screen. Didn't see that cav at all. So they managed to get a decent hit on my general and get right in between my men, which caused me a huge amount of problems. Uh, my other cav unit, my other monk cav, has managed to whack it into the back of his cav, which was engaged with one of my spear units. And Roos now has got a couple of cav units uh, floating around in the centre, including his general. One thing I will say is Kamikaze has got a melee general. Seriously, this general really would not die. He really didn't want to. In this game and the next game, it caused me so many problems. He just didn't want to die. So, but bows are still firing off. And they're doing a pretty good job at the moment. But as you can see, we managed to rat away Kamikaze's general now, so that made things a little bit easier. Uh, my cover going out, and they're going to come around the back, and I'm going to try and send them behind Big City's men, the green that's engaged to me on the left. I'm going to try and get them behind there. I'm just changing targets with my bows, making sure they're shooting at the monks. Because the monks' armour of two gives you something decent to shoot at. High quality unit, high cost unit with low armour. It's a perfect target for any of your missile units. So my cavs, you can see now, are out the back. And I'm going to charge them into this cav unit, get rid of that. Then I'm going to try and hammer an anvil on Big C. 
So I'm going to move my uh, Yowie wall over here and try and kill off these matchlock units on the right hand side which are shooting Roos from the back. Roos has done the right thing really, he's kind of ignored the matchlocks and he's still concentrating all his bow fire on the monks on the left hand side. The monks are a lot more dangerous than the bow unit, uh, than the matchlock unit. So in my opinion the quicker we can get rid of the monks the better. So I managed to destroy that cav unit and I'm going to pull him away in a second and I'm going to start attacking in behind big city. So we came over this side to try and get the sword dojo, as you can see they, they had the defence dojo by the way through this game, so they had extra defence and armour. So it would have actually put their monks up to armour of three, not two, so that, in all fairness, is kind of a problem. So we probably shouldn't have let them keep hold of that, probably could have gone across with my Yari and taken that, but I didn't. So as you can see up here, I'm just attacking this matchlock unit, going to try and get rid of that. And Roos's bows are still firing in. And my cav have done a quick hammer and anvil there. And as you can see, a couple of units right away. I'm going to put them around the other side. I'm going to do exactly the same thing around here. And these monks, as great as they are, they're still very, very weak against hammer and anvils. Um, if they're not facing the cav unit that's coming into them, then they will end up routing away. You look at that, straight away, bang, bang. Two units, white flashing flags. So if you, if you can get positions like this, then you'll be able to kill off these monks pretty, pretty quickly. So that was a good game to our opponents, and uh, thank you for playing guys, and the next game is coming up immediately after this one. Uh, I'm afraid I didn't save the end screen, I never do, kind of an idiot really, but I kind of turn fraps off whenever the uh, loading screen comes up, so that's the end of that. And this is the second game, this is on Kalida Cal or whatever it's called. Uh, I hate this map, absolutely hate it. Uh, the water in the centre just annoys me really, it kind of puts you back to something and I, and I just don't like the map, so. So yeah, again on this one I'm going to apologise again if the um, recording is a little bit laggy as I say, I had to live record it. Um, hope f a lot of my replays come out okay, these two seem not to for some reason, but still, it doesn't really matter, I recorded them anyway. Uh, in this game, you are going to see a lot of monks on the opponent's side. My build, I'll run you through that quickly. I've got one monk cav, I've got four light cav. I've got two katana sams. I've got same bow units as I had last time. I've got two Naj monks. I've got two Najinata uh, attendants. And I have a Yari Ashikaru. So the only change really, I've swapped uh, one of my, uh, uh, my, my um, Najinata monks for two katana sams. That's really the only change. I've added a couple of light cav as well instead of a monk. So these light cav, uh, I use them normally for hammer and anvil kind of tactics. They're really, really cheap for that kind of thing. And they can really win you a battle really, really quickly. So uh, that's why I've got so many of them. This is Roos's build. He's got pretty much the same build he had last time. I believe he's got two monks this time instead of just the one. Uh, apart from that, everything else I believe is the same. So we've started this off, so we've just got to wait for the timer to go. So our tactic in this, at the moment, as you can see, we normally uh, form up together and try and form one kind of front. But as you can see in this one, we haven't done that. I believe in this one as well, I'm, I'm using World Weary. Uh, in, I only got that the other day, which is kind of pointless now because in fact they nerfed it. But um, in the last game I didn't use that. I What did I have? I had plus two attack on my monks, so... Uh, in this game I've got my World Weary, which kind of helps out a little bit. Dropping the morale of uh, the enemy units helps out a little bit. So anyway, I had to skip this on. Uh, we've got Cav coming in on the left-hand side, which we're all fighting in together. We have got... Uh, basically all we've missed here is the Cav attack, so... That's basically it. I've got a couple of light cav and a spear unit going in against his monk cav on the left hand side. I believe the beginning of this game is very laggy, which is why I, I left it. Now this is that general I was on about. Really, really, really annoying general. Um, you, you just can't kill the bastard. You really can't, no matter what you try, you can't kill him. But I've got my katana sams uh, fighting the units at the front. I've got my cavalry routing away on the left now. I've still got a couple of cav in reserve. Uh, Big City Knight is in the green, he's come around to support his, opponent, uh, his teammate. 
So they're coming straight around. Yeah, again, they've got that defense dojo. Uh, I've managed to take the sword one, but they're kind of stopping me and taking it back with his general in there. And I believe his general's trying to go for my bows, which kind of causes me a big problem. But we've got all our bows firing off at the moment, and they're doing quite a lot of damage. As I say, bow units are really, really important. Uh, my opponent's build, he had four Nudgenata Warrior Monks, uh, the baseball monk guys, two Monk Cav, uh, a Yari Sam, and his general, I believe that was about it. So they're going to be decent quality units. Oh, and he's got a defense dojo as well now, so as I said, he's going to have extra defense, and he's going to also have the um, armor upgraded as well. So his monks have kind of pushed their way through everything. And at the moment, I'm kind of a little bit concerned whether or not I'm going to be able to hold out. Um, one of my sons has already been routed away. Uh, my two monks are holding on. But as I say, I was a little bit concerned whether or not I was going to be able to hold out. So Roos sent in some cav units uh, to try and support me. Uh, my bows are firing in. They're doing quite a lot of damage. My, I'm trying to vet up my bow. I should go. Um, it's not going so well. <laughs> it's kind of slow. They don't kill enough to get vetted up quickly. So... But as you can see here, we're doing quite a good job. Now things have kind of changed with Roos's help. So we've got units outnumbering them all over this part of the battle. Big City Knight's trying to come down on the left. You can see all these green flags on the top of your screen. Uh, he's also got some cav units behind. And Roos is dealing with them as well, so that's not a problem either. So as war cries going off all the way through these games, um, it would be kind of silly for me to say what units are hitting Warcry at what time. If you have a look at my um, micro, there's a Warcry there gone off. So you, you, you'll see some of them go off, but he's hitting them, I'm hitting them. There's just red flags on everybody. So to be honest, it's kind of difficult to say who's hitting Warcry at what point. But as you can imagine, there's quite a few of them going off all the time now. So I'm going to pull my light cav out. Um, in the patch, they fixed the, uh, the cav bug which is when you're charging through a unit, you basically demolish them on your way out. They fixed that, so as you can see, I pulled out, and it did absolutely nothing apart from destroyed me quite badly, so it did no good there. So we're managing now to uh, route away uh, Kamikaze, who is the brown flags, and we've got a whole new army now, big city knights to fight off. He's got lots and lots and lots of katana. He's got about five katanas, and they're really... Not too much of a problem, to be honest. Um, we should be able to deal with them pretty comfortably. Roos has got some decent quality katanas. He's got some decent quality national Arts monks. So we should be able to do quite good against them. And all, the whole time we've got our bows firing off at them as well. But we have lost our um, attack dojo now, so our attack has gone down. On certain maps you know you're going to get the dojo, on some maps you don't. So you can kind of work your retainers around where you think you're going to need them by what dojos you'll be able to take as well. So that's kind of helpful. So in this one I knew I wouldn't need the attack for my units because I thought I'd be able to take this dojo pretty comfortably as it's quite uh, close to me. But I got rushed so quick that we ended up fighting in the middle of it so we didn't manage to take it. As you see lots of white flashing flags uh, from the green opponent who's big city and they're all just going to start routing away. And um, the bows are doing a decent job. They're managing to just basically lower the numbers which is all it really needs for um, Roos to be able to take advantage of that up there. My unit's down here fighting, um, I've got a Cat Sam, and I've also got one of my uh, National Autumn Monks down there, they're fighting a Yari Samurai, and also a Katana Sam. So Roos is coming round the back with his cav, I believe he's going to go and try and take out the bow unit. Yep, he's off with the bow unit at the top with his cav. And as you can see, well, it's pretty much the end of the battle here. Um, so it was a good game to our opponents again. Uh, I do hope everyone enjoyed the video. And I'm sorry if there's any lag. But I wanted to show these games. And um, it was kind of a bitch really watching the replay back. And at this point, Roos's army had already routed in the replay. So it was kind of amusing to watch. But as you can see now, there's nothing left to fight. We've got a huge amount of uh, units left to finish off here. Bows are still firing in. Still got the general in stand and fight. So that was a good game. Couple of units left at the top and uh, Reese's Cav are going to end up destroying that bow unit. So if anyone has any um, fantastic new uh, ideas on how to deal with the monk spam, 
please post a comment or also you can send me a video and I'll be more than happy to post it for you if you've got any really um, intelligent ways of dealing with them that'd be brilliant I'm sure people would like to see that as I know they're causing a lot of people problems at the moment so um, that's it now please rate comment and subscribe as I say good game to Roos always a pleasure to play with him uh, good game to our opponents and uh, thank you for watching this as I say I apologise if there was any lag and I apologise for my voice as well Ooh. but thank you very much guys and I'll see you later bye bye